back to the phone lines. We'll talk to Shane in St. Louis, Missouri. Hi, Shane. Hey, Hank. Hi. Um, I was wanting to know um, how to like kind of how to be a more effective prayer. I don't know. Like sometimes I pray uh, like so hard, just like I'm trying to discover every base of prayer. You know, praying for people and uh, you know praying for forgiveness and thankfulness and everything, and it just like kind of wears me out. And I'm I'm wondering, is it important? Like when you pray for someone that's on your mind that you think needs God or or whatever, is it important to keep on praying for that person or well, once yeah, enough? Sure. No, I think God can lay someone on your heart and you will continually pray for that person. But remember that prayer is not just supplication. Prayer is building a relationship with the lover of your soul. So it's a means of communication with someone that you desperately love and want a relationship to grow. So Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Why? Because he treasured fellowship with his heavenly Father. What we so often do is what you allude to. We rush into God's presence, and before our knees have ever hit the ground, we're already thinking about rushing back into our frenzied lifestyle. So we're treating God no different than sometimes we treat our most intimate relationships on earth, like we want intimacy without the investment of quality time. So I think, again, we have to realize that prayer ultimately is developing a relationship with the lover of our soul, out of which everything else flows. By the way, one of the most important books I've ever written was a book called The Prayer of Jesus. Secrets to Real Intimacy with God, which is a book available through the Ministry of the Christian Research Institute. And I lay out how to pray based on the teachings of Jesus. 